Welcome to Long Beach Local News. I'm Melissa McGinnis with your top stories this week. Coming to you live from our Studio B. This week's news is brought to you by the Port of Long Beach and is in partnership with the Long Beach Rescue Mission. Happy New Year from all of us here at Long Beach Local News. Please make sure your celebrations are safe and joyous. And may you all continue to be a blessing to all of us in 2017. There are many opportunities around the city to ring in the new year, including downtown Pine Avenue. Tickets at the door are $50. It includes entry into a closed off area between 1st and 4th Street. There will be live bands, food, and a New Year's Eve countdown. The Queen Mary is hosting a New Year's Eve abroad, the Queen Mary. Step into the magic of famous films, culminating with one of the world's best New Year's Eve fireworks show. Tickets are $99 per person, and that's for 21 years and older. And the Aquarium of the Pacific offers 18 years and older dancing fun, hosting night dive with live bands and DJs. Long Beach has been mourning the loss of three local legends, Fred Kamar and Ricky Harris, as well as George Savage, all recently passed. Fred was responsible for many enjoyable moments on the sand with his Alfredo's, beach clubs, and summer evening outdoor movies. His friends expressed their loss. Close friend Dan Halvertson says that he was one of the hardest working guys in town and that he loved and cared for Long Beach. A memorial is scheduled in the next coming few weeks. Ricky Harris grew up through the ranks with Snoop Dogg and Warren G. His mentor and dear, dear friend, world-famous VIP Records owner Kelvin Anderson, says he was one of the most talented comedians and actors he has ever met. And George Savage was the owner of Casey Brennigan's here in Naples. He was remembered for his hard work and for his love of his customers. His memorial is going to be sc scheduled in the next coming weeks. He, Fred, and Ricky will be missed by many. There was a bomb threat this past Thursday in the area of Pine Avenue and 1st Street in downtown Long Beach. The L.A. County Sheriff's Bomb Squad was called in to investigate a suspicious box. The bomb squad found the box did not contain any explosives. And until next week, Long Beach, go well and go Long Beach.